It was a marathon meeting here tonight at the Jersey City Council where over 100 people were scheduled to speak, many of them Airbnb owners who wish to express their concern to the City Council that an amendment to short-term rentals would limit their ability to operate in an Airbnb business. There were also members in the audience who are in favor of restricting Airbnb businesses in Jersey City, such as union members from the building trades as well as the Hotel Trades Council. The City Council ultimately decided to table the ordinance until its June meeting. I legalized this in 2015 with the administration and um, a couple of the council members who sit currently on this day as well. Um, we created a cottage industry here in Jersey City around that. Um, that um, a lot of people who are here created their livelihood around this, um, this cottage industry. And for that, um, wanting to take a little bit of time to deliberate and um, be able to see what the impacts are here that um, there isn't a, a housing crisis here, cost burdened families in Jersey City being priced out of Jersey City, and so the idea of long-term rentals in the market being used for short-term rentals, that we need to make a correction there as well, and there's a need to do that, along with the other issues that have been raised as it pertains to quality of life and other issues around that. But for, for me, the overriding issue still being the idea of long-term rentals being taken out of the market for, for short-term rentals. So that being said, we will look forward to working with everyone and getting everyone's public input um, and making sure that we, we do what's fair and right across the board. Um, but we will look to do 30 days and look to move expeditiously for an ordinance to be introduced um, by the June 12th Council meeting. Um, with that, I vote aye to table. Also speaking here this evening were members of the Jersey City Education Association, some of whom received notices just this week from the Board of Education that their teaching jobs will not be renewed in September because of drastic educational cuts on the state level. The president of the Jersey City Education Association, Ron Greco, also spoke before the council telling them that one major source to help plug the budget gap for the BOE would be to go after tax abatements that the city has been giving to uh, big developers over the last 20 years. Absolutely, because in many communities, uh, tax abatements, the pilots, the, the pi uh, payment in lieu of taxes that are given out, uh, city councils and, 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 and uh, they dedicate a portion of that to the school system, the public school system. We're faced with over 400 layoffs here of just the classroom teachers. Uh, we haven't even touched the teacher aides and the secretaries yet. So th there's a crisis here. Whether the mayor wants to acknowledge it or, or the city council wants to acknowledge it, you know, council member was just out in the hall telling parents, you're in the wrong form, you need to go to the Board of Ed. These people have, are as much responsible as the Board of Ed. Uh, in funding the schools here. This is a public school system. They need to fund it properly. Mark Busanich reporting in Jersey City for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.